on the camera, are you ready to rock? Yeah. I said, are you fucking ready to rock? Yeah. Alright, let's rock on. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Like, God, Jesus, you put on a lot of weight. Well, that's what happens when you hang around for 2,000 years. Fuck you. <laughs> so, uh, this week, Tuesday, was uh, Lincoln's birthday. Used to be a holiday, but now we just lumped him in with the rest of the presidents. He doesn't deserve his own fucking his own fucking holiday. Like this guy freed the slaves, and we were like, "Nah, we're just gonna lump you in with Carter and Nixon and the rest of them." But Valentine's Day, which is responsible for enslaving more guys than Lincoln ever freed, fuck. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep that holiday. Thanks a lot, Walmart. I've been married to my wife for like ten years, so uh, like I fall in the line on Valentine's Day, and I go out and I try to do something nice for her. And it's tough to do something nice for her because my wife hasn't vacuumed the floor in the 10 years that I've known her. And I know this. I know this because I uh, started hiding my porn in the closet where we keep the vacuum. I I so she's not fooling anybody. But I go into one of these chocolate shops in the Northeast that have a sign in the window that says, We'll hand dip anything. And this chocolate bitch behind the counter starts yelling at me to put my dick away. And she, I tried to explain to her, like, I had to play with it a little bit to get it hard, but she was like, just get the fuck out of here. You know how those chocolate bitches are. No? And uh, Northeast High School this week, Monday, to hear they had chickens loose in Northeast High School. Like, that wouldn't even be news if we lived in Tennessee, but in Philadelphia, a bunch of chickens loose in a high school, that's news. Because in Philadelphia, you'd expect, like, they just said, like, eat crackheads for you. <laughs> the custodian be like, Man, it was horrible. We had all that crackhead shit to clean up. It was everywhere. But the chickens, like, you figure, it must have been like 18 age guys go out to a farm in South Jersey to buy some chickens. And you got to figure that the farmer would ask some questions. And maybe he did. He probably said, you boys aren't going to fuck these chickens, are you? <laughs> no? All right. Have a good weekend. Man. All right. Uh, <laughs> Evan got to go talk a little bit about the, uh, the presidential elections. Like, it's a really close race between Obama and Hillary now, but does it really make a difference? Because, like you said, like, you got to vote for McCain, right? Like, the guy's a war hero. He was in the Hanoi fucking Hilton for five years. McCain was in the Hanoi Hilton for five years. And you know, the only scarier thing than waking up inside the Hanoi Hilton is waking up inside a Paris Hilton. Because you know, as bad as it fucking was, John McCain never had to scrub his dick with bleach. Like, there was a one more. Where he woke up and had to scrub his dick with me. So like I said, I've been married a long time. I got a, uh, I got a daughter. I got a four-year-old at home, which is pretty exciting. Yeah. It's, it's good times. <laughs> got a lot to look forward to. But uh, one of the things that I had to give up was going to strip clubs. I can't really go to strip clubs with a daughter in the house. But we traded off, and now I get to go to Sesame Place. Like, we're going to see some pets to Sesame Place. And I'll tell you something, guys. Go to fucking Sesame Place. It's cheaper to get the season pass at Sesame Place, and the milk's dressed like you wouldn't fucking believe. Uh, I'm in a thing called Ernie's Waiting Pool, and there's a girl in the waiting pool, I swear to fucking God, her tit flops out of her top, and it's hanging out there for 20 minutes, and I know it's 20 minutes, because she had a nipple ring, and she had a tattoo of a sunshine on her belly button, and it created like a, uh, a sundial. So the, like the shadow went around from the nipple ring, I counted off 20 minutes. After like 20 minutes, she quick flops it back in, she looks around, she stares right at me. So I'm all embarrassed. Not because she caught me staring at her, but because all my money's in my shoes, so I can't even tip the bitch. <laughs> I'm Jason Hayes, I appreciate your time. Have a good night.